defend the world from the return of the Shadow Kings, just as the brave Pharaoh did 5,000 years ago. Hey guys, Vintage Yugi here today, and we're here at the Tampa TCG Con, and we're going through some old school goodies, so I'll do a recap here of what I end up buying, but just wanted to take some quick footage of here at the show. I have one that is in this room, right? And this thing will be a little bit more. So we got some reverse foil, four reverse foil thousand dragons, which is not a guarantee. YouTube Vintage Yu Gi Oh! here today, and we are going to do a recap from TCG Con in Tampa. So, this is the pile of cards that I bought at the show and we're going to go through and look at condition and uh, we'll see if you guys think I got any good deals or if I spent too much money. So first up we have a sealed Dual Master Guide Dark Paladin. And the reason I bought this is uh, one it's sealed and two I might potentially be opening it. I'm going to open it. It's hard to see if there's normally there's wear along the seam onto the card. Um, but it's hard to see if there's any damage on this card, but it's well centered. Um, from what I can see, the corners and edges look good. So I think it's probably at least, um, you know, worst case scenario, probably a PSA 8. And that's uh, about what I paid for it. So I think it might be worth the risk uh, to open that right there. And then up next, we have a starter deck Joey, first edition. Red Ice Black Dragon, and this thing was minty fresh, so I thought that was worth um, worth the price I paid. Um, I bought this from one seller um, for near two hundred dollars, um, which is probably high, um, but I thought the condition and centering looked well enough to justify it. And then I bought um, this Red Eyes and the next couple cards, and I'll say what I paid for that lot as well from a different vendor. So next up we have PCY Dark Magician. Beautiful promo here. And these promos are notoriously super, super glossy. Couple tiny, tiny scratches there. So probably a PSA 9, possibly a PSA 10. Um, just overall another really nice card there though. Then we have a Tomb Chaos. Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End, first edition collector rare. I have a PSA 9 of this. This one looks like as a shot potentially to get a 10. So if not a 10, should get a 9 again. So I I think that was worth the, the risk there. And then we have a Jump 2002, I believe. This was released in 2002. Blue Eyes with the Earth there in the background. These have kind of went crazy in price the last uh, couple months. And another really nice, just mint card. I think it could get a nine or possibly a 10 as well. So there's four there. And then the fifth and final card I bought from them was an Elemental Hero Flame Wingman gold stamp so not a upper deck counterfeit it does have a couple white nicks along the side and the centering is not great but other than that the foil itself is really good and the back is really nice as well so for those five cards i spent 550 dollars so uh, i think i get a couple of these graded um, Red Eyes is in PSA 10 easily go for around a thousand. Elemental Hero uh, goes for a couple hundred, even ungraded, I believe. And the Chaos Emperor Dragon, if it got a PSA 10, would go for close to a thousand. So I thought the, the risk reward there was worth it. And then all of these other cards I bought from one other vendor. I don't normally buy unlimited cards. 
but these were um, truly not reprinted original unlimited cards and for the price I probably overpaid on some of them but the condition um, was just really nice so here we have a buster blader just crisp corners crisp edges um, clean clean hollow foil so um, the price isn't necessarily exactly what I paid um, I'll give a total because you gave me a deal because I bought so much so I will give a total on on this lot once we get to the end here but just want to go through these like these are original magic cards not spell cards and then a couple of these have some really nice foil shift so it's kind of bare up there at the top and then overlaying the bottom edge there with the foil so some nice just you know for 15 bucks for an original magic card polymerization and this thing I mean, super, super nice minty. So I thought it was worth it even, you know, I don't know, I don't necessarily think I'll get them graded or anything, but here we have another foil shift here on the Regeki. And it's kind of like that, I wouldn't call it glossy, but I wouldn't call it wavy. Maybe it is wavy. It's kind of that 1.5 print, but a same shift going on here. Um, you can see it at the bottom really well right there. So just, you know, a nice card, 35 bucks, um, but I, it, I got a little discount, so less, less than whatever says the price says on these sleeves. And then another LOB, um, kind of 1.5 print, and this has a foil shift as well down. So let me, uh, let me know your thoughts on those, if you think those are good buys or not. Original LOB, um, magic cards and then we have an original unlimited change of heart and once again just really nice really mint a beautiful back there and then here we have a big hitter one of the few first editions i bought but this thing was too beautiful to pass up we have a full hollow bleed, first ed yada, just shine for days, and um, really nice condition. Just got that notorious LOD centering top to bottom. So don't really know what I'll do with that, but I spent th about three hundred dollars on that. But I think that's worth it. And then some of these promos here, 20 bucks for CRU from DDS. Just love the prismatic secret. Um, well centered and that nice glossy back there that's just really minty. So I think this should be able to get a 10 and uh, for $20 that you can't be beat. And then another promo here with Sinister Serpent. Same deal, just an iconic, iconic card beautiful foiling and then just super super mini fresh for 20 bucks again these promos um, a lot of people bought the games played with these cards so I think they hope they're uh, you know some easy easy money makers then we have an original serpent night dragon um, MRL and repeat here with just a beautiful really nice minty back so getting to some MRD and MRL cards here with an original mirror force spent 45 on this so this might be you know I won I kind of overpaid but just the condition was too good to pass up and I know it's an original original print and just an iconic card um, nothing else you know, I'll keep it in my binder and, and look at it from time to time. A magic card, Forceful Century. You know, not a very iconic card, but still an original magic card. So 2002 or 2003 print. Just really nice condition here. And 15 bucks for an old school Ultra. Uh, can't be beat. I mean, I was paying first edition prices for these a couple years ago, but... Um, 
times have changed and I still have an appreciation for the card and the artwork and uh, don't really care if it's unlimited or first edition. And there are definitely people that will pay a premium for, you know, original print unlimited cards versus reprints. So mystical space typhoon here. I, uh, I looked through a couple, he had some first edition ones, but did not have, was not lucky enough to find a sewage and misprint. Then we have a Toon Mermaid, once again, original printing, unlimited, just really nice artwork, good centering, and a really nice crisp back, once again. Toon Summon Skull, same kind of story, just a nice, nice minty copy, unlimited, but... Really nice. Then we have a first edition mirror wall. I don't think this one is as mint, but it might be. It looks pretty good to me. So I mean, for fifteen dollars for a first edition super is uh, a steal in my book. And then an unlimited fiend mega cyber for fifteen. Really well centered. Really clean. So I mean. People will pay $15 for a pack, and I have a 1 in 12 shot at pulling an Ultra. So, um, I mean, to me, it's it just seems like a no-brainer. Here is one of my better buys for sure. I sold one of these the other day for $100, and this one was uh, just as good a condition. A reverse foil trihorn. I spent around $55, so probably $50 with the discount he gave me. So... Really nice card there. And then we're gonna get into a couple big hitters here. Uh, barrel Dragon, Sucker for a Barrel Dragon, original printing, really well centered, really clean card. I might get one of these graded just uh, to have an unlimited along with my first edition. And then we have $18 for a reverse foil Thousand Dragon original and just super clean, super nice. So 18 bucks for a reverse minty secret. Uh, I'll take all those, please. And then we have a first edition Jar Greed for 45. Um, could have overpaid a little bit on this one depending on what it gets, but I figured uh, it was worth the risk. It looked really clean. So if I got a 10, it should be worth over a hundred bucks. So. Then we have Exiled Force from Legacy of Darkness, uh, really well centered for LOD, and I do not even have this in PSA 10 myself, so figured I would take a shot with this one for $20. Uh, and then we have the big hitter right there setting, and then we have Mage Power from LON as well. Really cool artwork there. And uh, it does have, this one was probably the most damaged and you have that white neck there. So I'm, I mean, out of all of these, that's the most damage. I don't think you can complain about that. And then here is the bulk of my purchases for the day. We have a beautiful Morphing Jar Tournament Pack 2, pretty well centered. And let's take a look at the back here. No real edge whitening. Nothing really going on here. So I think realistically probably a nine, but it could It would be awesome if this could squeak out a ten and that would pay for everything plus more so everything here I spent um, Forty three hundred dollars. So the morphing jar was a huge chunk of that So forty three hundred here around five hundred and fifty here and two hundred here. So I spent about $5,000 overall um, for all these cards. So uh, it's a pretty expensive day, but uh, found a lot of old school goodies in my opinion. And um, for the condition on some of these, just really cool. Um, there was a couple boosts that really, really helped the day out. Um, a, a lot of stuff boosts had just, you know, modern stuff. So, but there was some nice finds and some, some nice boosts with some old school stuff. So I was glad to see that. So let me know your thoughts 
on if you think I did well or if I overpaid and um, uh, just any any other general questions. It was kind of my first real big card show. So um, overall, you know, the experience was really good and met a couple people uh, that, that watch me here on YouTube. So uh, it, was, it was cool to interact with some of those guys and uh, was uh, overall, you know, fun time. And definitely looking forward to going to, you know, potentially nationals or another big card show like in Dallas or things like that. So that's enough ranting for me. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and uh, looking through these cards and seeing some footage from the actual show. So with that, as always, thanks for watching.